Ah, uh, well, everybody, we've got a lot of fun coming up. We've got two more games, and I'm gonna go ahead and hop on over to the reveal. So, Crappy, did I manage to actually change you? Yes, Crappy, let's go to the game reveal right now. Ah, uh, watch out, you're gonna get punched. Nah, just kidding, he couldn't do that. And besides, we all know KO's punch isn't exactly the strongest thing in the world. You know what might be the strongest thing, though? Bad video games, because people just keep coming back to play for us. Uh, I, again, I want to say thank you to everybody who played during the last match. It's okay if you didn't win. It is completely fine. Uh, in fact... You know, it means that you aren't the best at a bad video game, and maybe that's a bragging point. Seriously, though, I, they're putting in all of this entertainment for us, and I very much appreciate it. Who else entertains the GM? So say hello to the GM for match number three, our dear friend, Neetzel. Neetzel, come on in. Let's chat. How you doing? Hello. Hello, Neetzel. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing fine, thank you. So, really happy to be here and uh, to be giving another French game to our runners. So oh, we're not going to stop the French? Oh, good. No, no, no. You're getting more game, uh, more bad games made by French people. And this one is from a franchise that's been on Cusgonde before. Uh, yep. Are you ready? Are you ready to travel the world? With the Smurfs? No! <laughs> no! So, anybody but them! They're weird! Yeah, so... This is the sequel to the game that usually ends up on Kusugande, so usually uh, we will give uh, the Smurfs for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is the sequel, so it's Smurfs Travel the World. It's not as bad as the first one, but it changes a lot of things about the structure of the game, which are, yep. well, there are pretty funny things that you'll see uh, throughout, the, throughout the, the race, so... Well, everybody, the players are going to have one full hour to try to make as much progress as they can through the game. The winner gets those shiny 10 points. The loser gets two points, which is still not too bad. Uh, and honestly, it's only after the second match that people will be eliminated all four of these players are going to move on after the first match let's go ahead and see what this game sounds like yeah now, so I'm, I'm asking no. everyone to show the difficulty level so they'll be playing on hard so please don't to all turn off the music, please. Just I, keep it on. It's part of the torture. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this music so much. Well, we've got Blastin' this local Klaus, Netman Matt, and the Edmund Arkvile playing the Smurfs Travel the World. I believe I played a little bit of the Super Nintendo game, and I never wanted to give it out for reasons that I will explain later on, yeah. uh, because, but it's more personal preference because of yeah, that yeah yeah at first i didn't want to give this but uh, unfortunately i got a veto so i was like oh, i have to i to didn't want to give that. i guess i have to give the smurfs travel and, and, the world uh, and add another game but uh, the one of the gms told me that it was way too hard for a round one game so and i kind of agree so i was like yeah let's go let's go with this so i this hate game, this well, music we are going to travel the world, and as a result, you're going to see some well, yeah, really bad stereotypes, and I'm sorry for that, but yeah, that's unfortunately uh, a lot of the Belgian and French comic books were uh, back in the 90s and before that as well, so hopefully they won't get too far. <laughs> yeah. Game. We will have to see Admin Artvile. Uh, it looks like all of the players are ready, so let's go ahead. Do you need me to do it? Do, do they need to do anything? Are we good to go? Uh, no, they are all on art, so we can go. Uh... Okay. Well, I'm going to do the countdown now. Best of luck to the players. And everybody, you know what to travel or what what emotes to spam when it comes to Cusa Grande spam. Uh, 
I don't know, Smurf stuff? Anything blue? Anything travel related, like boats or planes or uh, South America? Because apparently that is where we are going. And as soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. Yeah, the trip that that we are doing is uh, is kind of weird. Uh, we yeah. start off with South America, and then you'll see where we go. So the structure of this game is really different from the the previous game. Uh, what you we have to do is collect crystals, and so the the levels are more open uh, uh, open, and you have to explore them to find all ten crystals in every level. Oh, of course. Also, thing is that, thank you so yeah, much. Uh, sorry, I, I, I want to yeah, say go, thank go, you go. to the devs for making it so that the title screen had black bars in a different area than in game. Yeah, thank you. I really <laughs> appreciate that, devs. Freaking infogrames. Yeah, yeah. It was originally another infogrames game that I wanted to give because I wanted to stay in on the, the French theme of uh, that we had so far. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, so uh, right away, something that you might notice is that uh, these uh, tree trunks, they're actually elevators. Uh, there's nothing that tells you about it. You have to press up and down when you are inside them. So maybe some of our players will struggle to figure that out. But uh, yeah, they got the manual. The manual doesn't explain it. So oh, I perfect. didn't tell them ab about it. I mean, why would a manual explain a, a key piece of information when it comes to a video game, you know? Oh my gosh, local Klaus is just trying to get this crystal underneath this snake and is having a very hard time. Let me tell you, there we go getting the drop grab. Now the crystals are specifically what they're collecting, right? Are they crystals? Yeah, yeah. yeah so there are multiple things that you can collect. So you have the crystals. Uh, once you have all 10 of them, you'll teleport out of the level right away. So at least you have that, which is pretty nice. Uh, you also have keys that you can collect. And keys, once you have three of them, you enter a bonus stage. And hopefully we'll see players enter a bonus stage at some point because the effect of the bonus stage is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm excited for that. Well, luckily we have a very good team behind the scenes keeping track of progress here. Obviously, it's going to judge based off of level progress or crystals collected. Whoever collects the, uh, the last crystal collected in a level is considered uh, in first, so they want to do it as quickly as possible. Uh, honestly, yeah. though, I think we're going to see quite a few levels here, though. I really don't like collectathons personally, but you know, Blastmas is down to five crystals left to collect. Pretty decent start, but the game seems a little bit rude if you die. Yeah, it's pretty rude because, well, you lose all your crystals, you have, you have to start over. Uh, the way that you navigate the, the stage doesn't make much sense as well because you have some teleporters throughout the, the levels and usually they send you in a, in a place that just looks the same usually and you're never sure exactly where you are so navigating this whole thing is is really really annoying okay yeah with all the teleports and such yeah I while testing games out years ago, I tried a little bit of this one and I was like, I hate it. I just, I yeah, don't enjoy yeah. it. There is no joy I mean, in this game. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's like moving around feels pretty bad. And I thought, yeah, this game is not too hard, but it doesn't make you feel great. And I thought, yeah, this might be a good fit for round one as a result. Because yeah. it's really about uh, staying focused, in my opinion because it's really, really not that hard. Yeah, So that except it is very punishing that when you die, you lose all of the crystals and you have to collect all of them again. It's like, why yeah. even have extra lives? And you know why? Because this is an Infogrames game and it's not going to give a password until you beat four or five levels. I, at least that's uh, what I expect. Yeah, this game, uh, it, only, it only has... Uh, so we're going to, well... Uh, 
hopefully we won't see everything but uh, uh, there are six uh, countries that we uh, that we travel to and there are two passwords uh, oh, in the whole no, game no no which which for in program is not that bad it's like the veto of the game where you only had one password <laughs> yeah it's still not good i don't like that yeah no it's pretty bad also, uh, if you game over, of course, you go back all the way to the start. So you really have to memorize all all of these are and uh, make sure to collect them properly. Yeah, uh, we are currently in the country of South America, by the way. Uh, yeah. You can tell by the Serengeti in the background. So something that always puzzles me with the Smurf uh, is their size. It's like uh, this they really there's nothing coherent about the, the size like from time to time they'll be smaller than a mushroom and then they'll be as big as an anaconda or even a seal in uh, some of the later levels it yeah. makes no sense at all it's like uh, but how consistent were the cartoons with how big the smurfs were uh to be honest i didn't watch that many cartoons of the Smith, but I think it was a lot more consistent. I, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say I think it was a lot more consistent. Uh, because yeah, because just like in this one and the previous game, it just doesn't make sense at all. Apparently, the comic was very consistent with their height per Don Ravioli and chat. That's good to know. I didn't know. Uh, I honestly. Uh, I expect anything that is done to be humorous, if there is something with size differences, they're gonna have it go all over the place, be weird. But I, if the Smurfs didn't do that, that's actually pretty impressive. Good job keeping it consistent. Uh, however, I don't care. I hate Smurfs, they're, they're ugly. They're, they're not my favorites. They're uh, overrated. And, and and I mean, like, like I said earlier, a lot of uh, French and Belgian comic book age really, really bad. And uh, the, the Smurfs are really, well, a good example of that overall. There are a lot of questionable things in the Smurfs. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I mean, that that's kind of true. And yeah, I can think of a few things that would be considered problematic about the Smurfs. It's more like, I don't think I even like the good parts of the Smurfs. So uh, yeah, I'm very opinionated on this. Blastness though, apparently yeah. is enjoying the good parts because we are on to level two and that is a game over. But, yeah, so back to level one right away. There you go. Yeah. yeah, I don't like I don't like Smurfs as well. It's like as a kid, I had to to be uh, in like a, uh, uh, how do you say a school show <laughs> where we were all dressed as Smurfs, and uh, that's you one were, of the reason I hate them. <laughs> you were you had to dress as a Smurf for was it yeah. like a play? Was it yeah, a play at school exactly? So was there music? Was it a musical? Did you have to sing uh, as a Smurf? No, no, no. Oh, good. Uh, uh, no, we just had to, to play something. Uh, I don't remember exactly what we did. To be honest, I, I, I took like the part that just showed up right at the end. And so most of the things I didn't watch it at, at all. I was just in the back waiting and hopefully not having to do it at all. <laughs> oh, well, good. I love it. Yeah, I went to Smurf school, technically, kind of. <laughs> so, our players, in terms of actions, uh, they have an attack. It's like the, the Smurf can can kick. Smurfhead can kick uh, the enemies in this one, uh, except the, the hitbox for the kick is really, really bad. Uh, you can as well jump on top of enemies, but that's also a bit tricky because the physics is also uh, pretty bad. Uh, for the crystals, you might have noticed it uh, in the, the in the second stage. They can be hidden almost anywhere. It's like uh, some of them will be held by enemies, others will be behind uh, behind uh, parts of the level that you have to kick. 
it doesn't make much sense where you're supposed to go uh, to collect them. Oh, yeah. But Some... it does look like the admin art vial has an early lead at this point, having collected three of the crystals in the waterfall level. Hope y'all enjoy crunchy bit rates. Um, nom, nom, nom. Yeah, this is the worst stage in... Uh, visually, this is the worst stage in uh, the whole game, so... Yeah, I... I... Hopefully, they, hopefully, they won't stay in it for too long. I don't mind it... But like as a matter of principle like i i kind of dig the effect when you're playing it locally it's just for streams it's a nightmare but like waterfalls are beautiful but yeah but still i give a warning about them because i i find them really tiring to look at when you're playing this game uh also these small rocks with water they make you slide uh, right away so they are really annoying to to deal with yeah at least we're sort of getting early experience blasting us back to that level again. Very nice. I, I feel like uh, with the number of lives that Blastness has, there is a decent chance of some solid progress. So now all of the players are playing as uh, Smurfette, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah. Is there a reason? Uh, no, I don't think there's a difference between uh, the characters. It just I thought that, well, at least Murphy will bring a little bit of variety compared to the first game. And, uh, that's <laughs> the only reason I asked them to 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 play as Murphy. So okay, because I love it. The, the the other one is just the the blend Smurf. Like no, I, I think even the password says he's called normal Smurf. Like what is normal? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, normal Smurf, my favorite Smurf. I think so we Justin might have heard that. Death. He's laughing. We, <laughs> we might have a death soon. Hey, we go on Lock Lock Klaus. Sorry if I pronounce that badly. But yeah, back to the beginning as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, welcome to Infogrames Games. Uh, as it turns out, the continue system is usually more brutal than the rest of the game, but... Uh, yeah, their continue systems could use a little help. So, something that gives me a little bit of hope uh, that we'll see the bonus stage is that L L Local House uh, already collected a key. And so once you get three keys, you get teleported to the bonus stage. Uh, the thing with the bonus stage is that it resets your progression in the level. So <laughs> oh no! Oh so, no! So you get into this bonus stage where you can earn health points, and if you gain enough health points, you gain lives. And something that's also uh, really bad about that bonus stage is that, well, it gives you health points, so you might enter the bonus stage with like two lives and four health points and exit the stage with like three lives and one health point <laughs> if you so it means that you're going back to the level and you might just die instantly because the game doesn't give you enough health points in the the bonus stage it's really really bad design uh, overall by the way there is lore to this game if you want me to read the story i could yeah go ahead go ahead all right let me <laughs> just clear my voice make sure we're ready okay Inquisitive Smurf sneaks into Papa Smurf's laboratory with Smurfette. They want to learn more about the magic crystal experiments. The mysterious talisman has the power, so it is said, to teleport through time and space. Our two excited friends approaching this er, approach this sparkling object and want to touch it, no matter what the cost. Catastro Smurf! There is an accident and the crystal breaks! Our two Smurfs find themselves teleported to countries far away from their delightful little village. Getting them home again will not be easy. The Smurfing will be long and exciting. They travel the world with but one purpose, to collect the fragments of crystal scattered in each country they visit. No, that's not the, they're trying to get home. <laughs> Like, you I literally mean, said that they're trying to get home, and then you said their only purpose is to collect the crystals? You stupid... Like, you're inconsistent within two sentences of each other. 
freaking so crap. The, uh, apparently, the Master System version uh, has uh, additional plot points because uh, their goal in that version is as well to get rid of pollution. So. Oh, well, great. Yeah, get rid of the pollution. Yeah, I'm sure you will be able to do that. Yeah. Well, they will then be able to put Papa Smurf's magic crystal back together, which is the only way they will be able to reverse the process which sent them to the other side of the world. Or, you know, traveling the world is possibly one of the ways that you can get back to where you were. Uh, this is the Smurfs travel the world, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, guess, I guess as well you may argue that apparently there are some teleporters that just appear a little bit everywhere, so maybe collecting the crystal fixes that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know, I don't care. I mean, that sounds about right, yeah. I mean, I mean... The whole, the whole story of this game is pretty underwhelming, in my opinion. Like it just oh we just need to get home and that's it. I mean, yeah. So apparently the the male Smurf in this game is named Inquisitive Smurf, which is a stupid name. Never name your child <laughs> Inquisitive, okay? Y'all, okay. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite subreddits that I've been looking at recently is r slash tragedy, but it's spelled in such a way that it looks like it's the name that somebody <laughs> got as a child. And it's just a subreddit listing all of, like, where people put all of the stupid baby names that they see, and I love it. Uh, Inquisitive Smurf, maybe it needs a few more Ys in its name, but it would fit right in there. Yeah, I don't know what's the the stupidest Smurf uh, de there is. Yeah, oh, my and name's Inquisitive Smurf because I ask too many questions. Do Smurfs have tails, by the way? Uh, no, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, they have really, really small tails. Why? And I and I remember that from my school play. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. I guess. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm, like, I'm pretty. Oh I'm pretty uh, impressed by uh, Loco Lo Lo who was really low on life for a really, really long time. Managed to uh, to uh, keep their health, and now they are on to uh, to a level three. Oh, one of my favorite things with video games is not getting a health refill between levels. But yeah, then again, I mean, that's info that's awesome. for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this stage as well, unfortunately, uh, it didn't get the key in stage two. Uh, because the key for stage three is pretty obvious, and it's like right before the, the final crystal. So it oh. would have been sent all the way back to the beginning uh, just by uh, right before finishing the level. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have to see if Blastinus falls for the key trap. So far, so far, it looks like nobody else collected the, the key in the first level, so... I, I, I gave them the manual, I know the manual explained the whole uh, bonus stage thing with the, the free keys, but it doesn't tell you that you're just going to reset your prog your progression. It just tells you that it's a way to gain lives, so that might be interesting for them, especially since, well, you have to complete two regions before uh, getting a password, so... That's going to be pretty long. Yeah, okay. So, I'm trying... I hate whoever scanned this manual, by the way, because... <laughs> like... They... Each PDF page is gigantic, and the manual takes up, like, maybe a third of the space on whatever they scan there. It's bad. And not yeah, only that, really but, bad. like, it's a low enough resolution that, uh, like, it's hard to read it a little bit. Like, come on, who scanned this? I just got here to see Smurfs. Has anybody already mentioned the prerequisites of Smurf zombies yet? Uh... No, we haven't. No. Do you know about it? Uh, I've never heard of it. What are you talking Basically, about? 
The Smurfs were the original zombie. Or, you know, there's a lot of other stuff that predates it. But the Smurfs originally was zombie. Yeah. They were biting each other and turning black, and then the black zombie is Smurf. Uh, no, yeah, 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 we don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> that's part of the... the then, I, in my then, opinion, uh, it's part of the problematic uh, parts of oh, the Smurf. Oh, hi, Rory! Thanks, thanks, for, about the, <laughs> thanks for jumping okay, in and bringing Smurfs. up the racist parts of Smurfs. I appreciate it. Smurfs, for all I care, they could be blue Smurfs, they could be green Smurfs, all right, but what's important is that they bit each other, and then they changed colors, and then they bite each other, and then zombies and now I'm apparently a horrible racist. Okay, that checked out <laughs> no, for the weekend. You're not. <laughs> well, goodbye, Roar. Good good for you to hop on in, just like the Smurfs. Lots of hopping. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh yeah, there are some things that haven't ex exactly aged well and but yeah. at, at the same time, you know, we're here, uh, we, we can acknowledge things that didn't age well and still enjoy media and point out the problematic things that happen in it. That's fine. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, and uh, unfortunately, uh, well, uh, yeah, it's a thing that I stumble upon a lot when looking back at a lot of the stuff that I enjoy in my childhood. Is I'm like... Hmm, actually, all these things are pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is uh, but I, not I, great. But but you know, as long as you well, you you uh, well, you you stay critical of all that. I mean, yeah. Like one thing to remember is that you know, even though we don't like parts of culture, we can still participate in culture. Yeah. Calling out the the problematic and things is healthy. It, it's good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's better to call it out than uh, just uh, ignore it. Ignore it or like try to uh, just uh, re-release things and uh, and uh, changing stuff. It's like well, I don't know. It's. Uh, I mean, yeah. sometimes it's a bit complicated, but uh, I, I don't think we should do like it never existed, and it's better to just be critical of it and realize, yeah, that was uh, that was how things were before, and uh, we should do better now, and that's it. Yeah, I think there's some. There are going to be a handful of situations where it's like, eh, maybe that's better left forgotten. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, definitely, uh, definitely. Other things, you know, it, it's worth recognizing you know that there was a lot of entertainment and humor uh and that at certain periods of time things uh even if they were kind of problematic at the time they like still did them uh yeah 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 anyway i i appreciate uh especially uh, I think it's Warner Brothers that uh, didn't go and censor some of their stuff, and they had, like, warnings saying, you know, this, this is offensive, and it wasn't appropriate yeah. then, it's not appropriate now, but it's important for us to learn from those mistakes rather than yeah, to hide those uh, mistakes. Uh, I'm playing the, the, the Tomb Raider remastered uh, trilogy right now, and it has a similar message uh, right at the beginning, and I think, I think it's great to... To at least have that to acknowledge that yeah a lot of this stuff uh yeah are on great but uh they're not trying to bury it uh, uh completely i love that i love that good do, 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 but the, the do, tomb raider do, do. trilogy uh, remaster is actually pretty good if uh if uh, you want to revisit those games i mean they, yeah i mean i do have old, but, i do uh, have the collections uh for the older versions but actually getting them to run reliably uh <laughs> was a little bit hard even though they were on steam let me tell you uh, i i might have to check out the remasters so i'm going to check but i think blastinus is will very soon or maybe not uh, will very soon take the lead but i need to check quickly oh uh, yeah one thing that i've been learning as well like i've been watching a lot of the amazing race uh like older seasons and even up through the mid 2000s 
uh, the amount of things that people say that I'm like, you can't say that now, you can't say that now, no, nope, and like everybody was saying it kind of surprises me, but the most offensive part is how often everybody says, you can do it, and I'm like, I know that you are <laughs> referencing Waterboy by Adam Sandler. I know every single time, and it's almost every freaking episode that they reference Waterboy. Yeah, I've never seen it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know if it's good or, or not. I... I I think Waterboy is hilarious, but yeah, I know exactly what they're referencing. And, oh, yeah, and it's uh, something pretty bad in the movie, okay. Not necessarily bad, per se. Uh, well, I mean, if you were my parents, maybe, like, in that era, maybe it was something okay. bad. Yep. Yeah. So, quickly, to keep everyone up to date, uh, right now, in terms of uh, ranking, we have Blastinus. Uh, so, first we have uh, Loklolaus, then second we have Blastinus, then uh, the Adamant Argvail, uh, and uh, Nedmon Matt is uh, fourth. But with three lives, uh, the other man Argvai may actually take the lead. But every time I say that, for some reason, they all fall into the water. I don't know why. <laughs> Not the water. Yeah, I I just I mean, love... Don't, don't, you, don't you like uh, instant death in games like that? Oh, for sure. No. I mean... Here's the deal. I, I don't necessarily mind that there's instant death, but with a game like this, uh, you know, the platforming isn't the best, uh, especially since you have pretty elegant, elegantly drawn sprites here. It can be a little bit difficult to tell exactly where the edge of a platform is. I'm not like, I, I do see occasionally uh, players trying to jump up on platforms and struggling to land on them. And that, yeah. that's, a bit of a pitfall there, but it's not as bad as like the Wizard of Oz for Super Nintendo. Those platforms yeah, are yeah. the worst. Yeah, yeah, this game is uh, at least it's pretty easy to see what's going to get you. Uh, it's not as bad as something like uh, like Tintin from Infograms, but uh, yeah, overall the physics of the jump is so bad. It can be hard uh, from time to time to aim properly for for the platforms. Yeah, so, so one of the players uh, typed in Discord. I'm wondering if I'm missing something. I haven't seen any passwords yet, despite getting a game over. <laughs> it's, well, especially since... I think it was doing all right, so I mean, he reached level three, so I really don't know what he's, what he's referencing. Uh, he's referencing that he hasn't gotten a password yet, and he doesn't know that Infogrames is stingy when it comes to passwords. They, no, oh, they, okay. they, they do not give passwords every level. It's usually after like four or five levels, yes. Uh, that's why the Tintin games are brutal. That's why, like, every Super Nintendo and Genesis game by Infogrames is just devastating because you have to replay the same sections over and over again. And one hit in a level, you know what? That might cause you to die in the next level because your health carries over between levels. Yeah. Like... There's so many small design decisions that Infogrames could have made to make this game actually playable, but no, no, they went up against them all over the place. Yeah, and to be honest, on the normal difficulty, the game is uh, almost as bad. The only difference is uh, just that, well, you have a little bit less enemies, but uh, I mean, what's really annoying to to deal with is already there on normal. Yeah, the, that's 
a little it's bit like, of a weird thing. Like, I actually like the way that they do some of the difficulty with infogrames because they uh, generally don't make it so that the game takes longer to play on higher difficulties. In fact, one of the Tintin games is technically faster if you play on the hardest difficulty. Uh, however, uh, yeah, the... Even if you play on the easiest difficulty for an Infogrames game, you are probably going to take a few hours to get your first password. Yeah, and something something nice about this one is that, uh, as well, it has no timer, which is pretty rare for Infogrames game. <laughs> because a lot of the time they'll give you a timer and the timer is really really mean yeah and uh, you you almost have to speed run the game uh, at least on the higher difficulty with uh the tintin games that is especially true that the timer is your biggest enemy it absolutely like you can very easily get into a situation that's not your fault that you cannot beat the level because there's just not enough time because you messed up one little thing and it's just too bad. Go back to the beginning of the level and play it all again. Oh wait, no, you're out of lives and you didn't get a password because you only got to the third level. Play the whole game again. That's okay. Play the whole game again and see if you can get caught back up. Seriously, evil, evil design. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'll see a bonus stage uh, in this way, but that's normal. I mean, the condition to reach it is pretty bad, but uh, I mean, it's pretty hard to reach. I do love that, like, you know, there, there's always the hope that something absolutely evil is going to show up, and it's a little sad. Oh, if we don't get that, but... I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's Whatever. fine. I mean, they're, they're already struggling so much. And I mean, they're already yelling in chat, so we don't want them to, to rage quit the, the tournament <laughs> or something like that. That's fine. I mean, uh, to be honest, they are doing really, really well because this game is really brutal. Uh, it's really, really mean and it's super frustrating to start a, a level again. It's like... Most of the games that are, that are collected on like that, uh, I think they usually uh, make sure that you don't have to pick up everything uh, back again unless you get like a, a game over or something like that. This game is really mean for just forcing you to do the whole thing over again every time you die. <laughs> I love it. Well, we are more than halfway through. Not a single password has been acquired by any of the players. They are a bit upset about that. Too bad. They can't deal any they they can't do anything about that. Yeah, and they would have to clear uh four more levels to get uh, to get a password. So <laughs> yeah, four <we're> more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's two regions. They are still in South America right now. <laughs> so, yeah. This game is really, really unfair to, to its players. Yeah, 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 I, I, I'd say so. Okay, Neb and Matt yeah. is doing pretty good in this river level, though. Uh, Loco Klaus right behind. Now, obviously, I... oh, go ahead. At least look at us, uh, well, assure, assure this lead because I think he got like one crystal or two crystal remaining, which is really, really good for this stage. But uh, yeah, he's back to the to the beginning. Yep, at about the 31 minute mark is when Loco Klaus got down to two crystals remaining. Netman Matt has five remaining. Of course, I want to give a shout out to the referees who are helping to keep track of this. Uh, each one has been watching one player specifically to see how progress goes. And the referees for this match are Nakarashi, Reverend Gumby, Redford, and Dragus. With Silver Dwarf over in the wings helping out, I really am thankful for all the help that you are doing here to make sure that we have things judged fairly and accurately. So, 
Yeah, the order that we have so, right now is Loco Klaus in first, Blastinus appear. Oh, no, no, no. Nem and Matt in second, Blastinus third, and the admin Arcvile in fourth. Yeah, actually, uh, Nem and Matt is about to take the lead because he's going to the North Pole right away. Yeah, North Pole time, baby! So I was wondering, are they all new players, or...? The North Pole is in Iceland, as we all know. Or Greenland, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you know, Greenland. Greenland. Uh, so are they returning players, all of them, or...? Uh, oh, sorry. I, I was trying uh, yeah. to communicate with Justin for a second there. Uh, okay, okay, um, no problem. I was like, I we've got food downstairs, yeah. and he's like, look outside. And I did, and it's snow. Yeah, that's not food. But it's like the North Pole outside. Oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah, it's just like what we're seeing right now on, on stream, so. So yeah, I, I was wondering if they were all uh, returning players or if some of them were new players. But uh, because I, I have really bad memory of names, so it's kind of hard for me to remember these things. Uh... Yeah, so Nep and Matt was asked, like, apparently they're complaining about butterflies. Nep and Matt is like, can you skip passwords by accident? And I'm just letting them know you haven't skipped any passwords. Okay, don't stress. I mean, maybe stress a little bit because you're playing Smurfs Travel the World, aka Smurfs 2. Yeah, they are, they are not really enjoying the game all that much. And honestly, I get that. This is not a game that I particularly enjoyed playing. Uh, and honestly, if <laughs> I were any of the players here, I would be very upset. Well, Bob Vedo games. That's it. <laughs> Play less games so that you get the, the nicer pick from the GMs. And I don't have to give you a uh, smooth struggle the world. Ah, oh, okay. Only play good games so that you can get a softball in Cusa Grande. That yeah, is the pro yeah. advice here. Because if you play if you play too many bad games, you get this. <laughs> yeah, they're all uh, yeah. Yeah, our players are kind of uh, pretty angry that they don't get password, but uh, yeah, that's part of the game. That's the reason this game is in this tournament, is that it's brutal, it's mean, and uh, for some reason they have a password system, but barely any passwords. Yeah, I love Blastness is like, this game wants you to get all the way to the end in South America and beyond without a single continue. I'm not telling them. I'm just gonna laugh. <laughs> this game, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, I'm still new to this. I feel a little bad about that. I mean, first of all, I was like, should I give this game since it has some pretty bad stereotypes that hopefully we won't see because they won't reach that point. Uh, I, I would. Uh, but I mean, but it's like it's like right now, uh, Netmama. I hope uh, he remembers what's in the manual because the manual explains that you can uh, kick uh, the snowball back at the seal, and that's how you unlock some of the crystals. Oh no! They have to know that they have to fight the seal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. So yeah. yeah, and that's something that the manual, I think, tells you. Uh, at least I remember that it said some of these things. <laughs> uh, let me check pretty quickly. I know there's a, a tips section. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't forget it, that a kick is very useful in many levels and will sometimes enable you to uncover cr crystals hidden in unexpected places. Actually, it doesn't tell you about this one. It gives you tips for like the next region. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's like they give you tips for the third region, but not for the second one. It's like if Zelda started and gave you like the way 
uh, to the third dungeon, but not <laughs> how to get to the first one. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's so good. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking, uh, yeah, at the tips. It says, in a North American level, you can cling onto a bird's feet. This is very useful when looking for crystals. Okay. If you see a totem, remember that although it may bring you a bonus, it could also bring down the wrath of the gods. What? Yeah, yeah you have a, a, a totem, and if you start kicking it for too long, uh, what you get is you have like... Uh, I don't remember if it's fireballs, but you have projectiles that can hurt you. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, that, that's great. Flying on Flamingo's back is sometimes a good way to make life easier. Okay, we're not going to see that. Watch out for wasps. No. If no, a wasp no, follows you, there must be a good reason. Wolf, well, so. so, yeah, really, they give you, like, tips for, like, uh, the, the third and fourth region but they don't give you anything for the first one and the second one. So, uh, yeah, people are going to start, like, Netman Map may not finish this level because of that. Uh, it's possible, so... Okay, well, cool. Thank you, I Infogrames. Mean, I mean, when you rent, rented this game, that's how much you got. You got the manual and that's it, so... I it, mean, if you're it lucky and it had the manual it, with the rental. It it tells you it it tells you that you can actually kick some things back. So mm. it's like uh, actually I'm on the French page, so hopefully it tells you that on the English page as well. Which page? Uh, in the tips, uh, at least in. Uh, don't forget that a kick is very useful in many levels and will so sometimes enable you to uncover crystal hidden in unexpected places. Okay, the French version is a little bit more precise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Neman Matt has two keys. Uh, Chat, thank you for pointing that out. There is a possibility we could see a bonus stage. I'm excited. That would be wonderful. Well, as a quick recap, by the way, I, I apologize if I pause occasionally. I've got a burrito here, uh, and I am very much enjoying my burrito. Oh, wait, wait, look. Uh, I think uh, Netmamat almost got it. You understand that he can do something with the snowball? Yeah, the, sneal, we go. the seal is dead. <laughs> Yeah, we got rid of pollution and we killed all of the seal. That's well done, Smith. <laughs> well I love <laughs> Nem and Matt trying to do a jump and just getting icicles to the face. That's good. Unfortunately, that seal did not have a hidden crystal, so it's... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like he's about to exit the level, right? Oh, no, actually, no. No, that seven. was seven, but, left, uh, not but, one. But, but the seal had uh, the crystal, and uh, he collected it properly. Oh, okay. I guess I missed it. Yeah, it, it's... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's just, for, for, that, that death was pretty funny. For those who are wondering, it's a breakfast burrito, because I love breakfast burritos. It's steak and eggs. It's got potatoes and cheese and and eggs and steak, and it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Something, uh, something as well that's pretty nice about this game, and I think that that moment forget, uh, forget it out, is that the 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 life uh, actually respawn. So you might be able to uh, to uh, to collect multiple of them yeah, whenever. Well, you, you could be able to collect a, a life every time he dies. So. Them and Matt, why? Okay, nope, got a kick to that, the left. That, yeah, that's because you have to kick it while it's in the air. You can't wait for it to, to stop. There we and go. here you go. Got a crystal. Okay, yeah, Nem and Matt is learning how this level works, which is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, we might see the level after this. Is there a boss after this one? Uh, there are some levels that I guess you could consider buses. Usually they are like <laughs> auto scrollers.
empty seals out, so annoying to deal with. It's just so repetitive. Yeah, they take a few too many hits, which is two. Like, but, yeah, I wouldn't mind if it moment. was, like, if you only had one or two seals to deal with, but no, there are a lot of seals in this level. Yeah, and as well, they're all exactly in the same uh, section, so I don't know, it doesn't make much sense uh, to me. It's like, just, yeah, just do these things four times in a row. I really hope Netman Map finds a key. I really, really hope so. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of pain. I'm a fan of suffering. <laughs> and I need to see Netman Man suffer because, you know, they're kicking butt in this match. Yeah, yeah. How many... Kind of hard for me to see him with the stream. Okay, they, he has three lives. So hopefully uh, he will, he will uh, be able to collect another key. Yeah, no extra health, which is a little bit of a dangerous situation to be in. You don't want to get hit by the f stupid icicles. The icicles kill you. Okay, bouncing on seagulls. I don't know why there are seagulls in the winter, but that's Smurfs for ya. Yeah, I, like the sea, the California seagull. Okay, that is Utah's state bird. Yeah. Oh, it's a key. It's a key. Uh, yeah. We're going to the bonus stage, everybody. Bonus and stage. He, he had one key left, so that's going to be perfect. He's going to have the the perfect situation. So the bonus stage it, it lasts for a really long time. You have to collect as many things as possible. Uh, at least the 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 level ends if you manage to collect everything. Uh, but yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah, so as we have the troll playing out right now, let me go ahead and say, Nem and Matt is definitely in the lead, yeah. uh, getting to the snow level, essentially 2-1 with one crystal remaining. Blastinus is in third, Loco Klaus in second, with only two crystals remaining on 1-3, the river level. And unfortunately, Admin Arkvile has only made it to the river level, I believe, once and collected two crystals. Crystal. Yeah. That puts Admin Arkvile in last. Now, we have so, enough time for leads to change. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the big thing is figuring out that you have to kick the snowball uh, with, the, with the seal. Uh, at least if someone... Uh, wants to catch up with uh, Netmombat. Uh, something that's going to be pretty fun, like I said, you're going to see the amount of health increasing on the uh, Monmat uh, screen. And uh, yeah, he might end up with just one health points when starting the next level uh, again, uh, the previous level again. So yeah, two health points, not as bad, but uh, here you go, start the level again. Smurf the world. <laughs> That's what he said. In the, okay, in the chat. Matt. <laughs> are you angry? Yeah. Are you angry? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your reaction. Oh, uh, not... we got the re we got the reaction. If you look at the chat. Yeah, but that that was before <laughs> that was before Netman Matt got to replay the level. We've got a pause on the screen. There is typing in Discord. <laughs> And Netman Matt said it restarts the stage. <laughs> oh, yeah, you thought you smurfed the world, but the world smurfed you, Netman Matt. <laughs> uh, I love that. It's really part of the reason that uh, I really wanted to give the, the this game, so I'm really glad, glad it happened. Oh, I am so happy. This, like, yeah, 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 yeah. As much as I've complained about this game, uh, it's mostly because I hated stage one. I'm actually enjoying a lot more of the other levels, uh, but yeah, I hated that... stage one. I thought it was stupid. And now that I know these trolls, this game is starting to become a little legendary for me. I like it.
Yeah, it still has a, a lot of issues, and uh, we'll see if we get to that point. The, the main thing is that now Netmama, I mean, he's complaining about restarting the level, but he has loads of lives now, so that might help him yeah, uh, it's a... get to, to the next region. Like, it's a crappy move. Like, the devs could have made it so you don't have to restart, but at the same time, with this many lives and this much health, like, yeah, sure, he got, he got, whatever. He, he got two lives uh, out of it, which is uh, pretty alright for a bonus stage. I mean, there are so many games where the bonus stage just makes you lose time and as well uh, doesn't give you anything unless you're perfect at it. At least in this one, it gives you many lives. Oh, yeah. The worst thing is when a bonus stage happens and you can actually die, which happens because, you know, apparently some game devs hate gamers. <laughs> They're like, let's punish you for playing my game. Oh my gosh. No, never man. What <laughs> crystal left and into the juice. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying this game a lot more watching other people playing it than playing it myself. It's like there are some cuter games that when I play them, I fall in love with them. This is not one of them. It's like this is a game that I really didn't enjoy playing, but I thought it would make for a great viewing experience because it trolls you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a fan. Like, my opinion has greatly changed on this game over the course of the hour, and I'm glad that you have shown me the errors of my ways. <laughs> Specifically thinking that this game was mediocre. Oh no, this has some hot crap. Yeah, Blastinus is not a fan of the game either. Blastinus doesn't even know, though doesn't know but uh i'll, I'll tell them uh, I, i'll leave a net moment explaining all of that to the other players it's usually more fun to explain oh yeah the, the well awful things that you had to deal with let me give you a recap everybody since we have less than 10 minutes left currently netman matt is in the lead having made it to uh the north pole aka greenland uh and has made it so that only one crystal remains here. Nobody else has made it to this level. The farthest we've seen is Blastinus, Loco Klaus, and the Adamant Art Vial making it to the river stage. Now, who is in the lead there? Loco Klaus uh, has come in second place at this point, only two crystals remaining. Blastinus in third with six crystals remaining and Adamant Art Vial with seven crystals remaining. Adamant has a chance to move up in the rankings here, though. Uh, Edmund Arkvile actually managed to get a new PB with the last life. But remember, you fall in the river, you're dead. That's a game over. Back to the beginning of the game, likely no chance to make more progress. And something really important if you're playing, don't type too much in the chat because sometimes just that time that you're losing typing, well, it can make a difference. <laughs> Yeah, but, but uh, I, still, still, it's it's good to vent from time to time. No, Adam no, and so close, so that close to a tie. That was one crystal away from tying for third. I do not think the Admin <laughs> Arkvile can catch back up. Sorry. Sorry, I just saw the reaction of Netmopat uh, when he entered this uh, swimming section. To be honest, this swimming section is pretty all right. It, it's not awful. I think he'll, he'll clear this pretty easily. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the, like, the, it, the it main just issue, too much gravity. The main issue is that the, the path is sometimes behind the foreground. This is the, the one of the issues. Oh, thank you, Infogram. How obvious it is, is it that you can <laughs> swim behind something? It, it's like a little bit different. It's like uh, the the foreground is a little bit darker, something like that. And that's why you, that's a section that you can go through. Like, I think you can go right below there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a hidden life, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like that Nedman Matt still collected one of the keys because why not? Yeah, why not? I, I mean, uh, I guess he, he kind of enjoyed uh, going to the bonus stage. But the, the thing is that most of the time the keys are really like at the end of the level. So, yeah, you don't really you don't really want to pick it up, especially at this point in the, the match when you have five minutes uh, remaining. Yeah. And like Nevin Matt doesn't know how far in the lead they are. Like, they have no shot at losing. But because they don't know that, they really should be playing in a way that makes it so that they can make consistent progress in the last five minutes. You know? I guess the, the only clue that he might have is the, the fact that he's the only one that complained about restarting the stage. So that could be a good clue that you're actually doing pretty well if you're the only one who saw that. Yeah, I mean, other people are complaining about the game. I, I think... Yeah, but about other stuff. <laughs> oh no, the health right above the pinchy crab. I was a little bit concerned for Netman, but they managed to get past. Very nice. No, the fish! No, no stop that's swimming with the fishes! That's what... That's where the Mafia sends you! To swim oh, with the no. fishes! Stop it! Admin Argyle is beginning. really trying to catch up as quickly as possible. And there we go. Level 1-1 down. Admin Argyle could technically make it back to the next level. I would probably take a death right now, though, just so that, you know, you can damage boost through areas and then get to 1-3 quickly. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, with this little time left... Uh, it's probably just a good idea to die real quick. But, if Arcvile can do it without dying, then that's, that's fantastic. There was a health pickup. And another health pickup. Okay, well, fine. I guess if you know where the health is, then it's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so many crabs to deal with in this underwater stage. <laughs> at least, at least they didn't hide the, the crystal too much, uh, and the level is still pretty linear, so it, I, don't, I don't think Matt uh, will struggle uh, with uh, finding crystals, at least. The main issue is really avoiding enemies. But uh, you won't have to to do a lot of back and forth to collect everything. Yeah, the music is pretty bad. Uh, I kind of like this music. Really? Yeah, uh, you're, you're like I'm sitting here humming with it, and you're like, "Yeah, this sucks." And I'm like, "No, this is a jam. Come on." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I hate it. <laughs> Fine, okay, it's not the best music in the world. I've heard better. Fine. I mean, it, it really sounds like it's one of these cases where, you know, it's the Nest soundtrack put on the Genesis and it just sounds awful. It doesn't fit the Genesis at all. All right, so now we're going to murder some penguin, apparently. Oh yeah, in, in this stage we have whales uh, as well that we have to, to jump on. And uh, <laughs> that time also uh, pieces of ice uh, moving ba uh, back and forth. Wait, so you're telling me we still don't have a password? No, uh, this is the last stage before the password. And uh, yeah, um, I mean... Uh, I don't remember this, this stage as anything special. I don't think so. I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. It doesn't have anything special like the seal that you have to deal with. Yeah, uh, Chad is reminding us, by the way, that this is the North Pole. Yeah. Despite the well, penguins. Well, you know, I, I mean, it's Greenland. You saw it on the map. It's Greenland. It's not the North Pole. <laughs> it's the North Pole. It's Greenland. And it has... Penguins. Like, everything about this world is messed up and incorrect. The walrus butts hurt. 
Yeah, everything about the walrus uh, hurts you. But yeah, do not touch the walrus. Uh oh. Okay. Yet you can uh, you can uh, use the snowballs to uh, get to the crystal. Nice, very nice jump in there. Ooh. Yeah, these they look very grumpy. I don't like them. Okay. Like Walter Brimley on a bad day. That's what we've got. Wilford Brimley, whatever. Brimley boy. Well, yeah. It looks like we are locked in terms of ranking. I believe so. Local Gloss put a beautiful little butterfly on the screen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, it's flying around. Watch out. It's going to get you, Smurf. Ah, it's attacking. Watch out. Yeah, Local Gloss did not enjoy the butterflies. You know what? They will enjoy the end of the match because that is time. We are done. Oh, you know what? The demo actually shows you how to defeat the seals by kicking the snowball back. So that's a piece of knowledge to get from the demo if you're watching and if you make it that far, blah, blah, blah. You know what? We are done. I'm going to go ahead and invite Netman to come chat with us because Netman definitely took the victory here. And you know who came in second? It was indeed our friend Loco Klaus, followed by Blastinus, and finally the Admin Archvile. All three of them ended up on the same stage. Very, very good job to them. But Netman Matt just kicked butt in an unexpected way. Yeah, how do you feel that the players did? I think they did really well overall. It's like this game is really, really painful uh, to deal with. Uh, it's it's like, it doesn't look like it, but the way that the physics of the jump works is really, really annoying. Uh, the fact as well that, yeah, it, it's a lot like an endurance match uh, because uh, every time you lose, you have to restart the whole crystal thing. It's really, really, really painful to deal with. Oh, yeah. It is a big pin in the butt, but Netman is here. Hello I, there, Netman. How you doing? I knew this was always a trap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. We we were waiting. We were sitting there oh. watching for you to get the third key, and we're like, is is Netman going to do it? Are we going to see the bonus? Well, and, I, I was so happy because I got, like, three lives. I was like, cool, this is going to help. Wait, this is the same stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think I got used to that game and I was actually having fun. The, yeah. The, 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 first, the first level is the worst level by like a lot. Yeah, like with how non-linear it is, it's a little bit confusing. The second stage, you know, you go from the bottom and go up. Third stage, you know, left to right. It actually has flow, but the first stage, uh, I remember years ago, I tried it out. I was like, I don't want to give this out. I hate collect-a-thons. That, that was like Sister and the Berenstain Bears game level bad. And I was just like, oh no, the whole game's gonna be like this, huh? And then it just turned into like a pretty normal platformer. And like, the good news is, is that like the run button's actually great. Cause like, you can just like book it and get long jumps, but if you need something precise, just don't pull the button. Like, it's weird. I've played a lot of games with first platforming in this. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I, I think I agree with you. And actually, having watched uh, watched a lot of the game, I kind of enjoy it. I honestly feel like I would go back and give this another shot now that I've seen this much of it. You know? I would uh, not. <laughs> you, well, okay, Neetzel, you grew up with Smurfs. Uh, you possibly played this as a kid. I don't blame you for not wanting to play this. <laughs> but, yeah. Love it. I, Honestly, it seems more interesting than I expected. Not better, but like yeah. good doesn't necessarily correlate with enjoyable. And exactly. uh, yeah, I think that the game has a lot of flaws, but actually has a bit of an interesting flow to it behind that. Uh, yeah, with that said, is there anything that you find like absolutely unforgivable or stupid about the game? Um. I think... I have to think about this, because, like... 
<laughs> I, 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 I like like the password thing was like not too bad once you knew what was going on it's one of those games that has like a plateau right where once you get to the top of the plateau it makes sense but once you're like the figuring out portion is just atrocious and like it's I, a good thing i read it's a good thing i read the manual because the manual kind of hints that the crystals are going to be in weird places because if i didn't know that i never would have checked those seals there was a point where I was just like, okay, I'm just like five crystals. Yeah. The I did see uh, one of the players let the demo play out, and it actually shows uh, you kicking yeah. the snowballs back at the seals, and I believe it shows oh. that a crystal comes from one. So, uh, that no, th this is an important thing for people to realize that sometimes watching the demo and paying attention uh, to it, you know, even if you don't remember it completely from the demo, it still can give you at least a little bit of an indication. Oh, yeah, I, I remember seeing that I can kick a snowball. Bam, I kick a snowball. And then, bam, there are crystals there. And it's like, oh, oh, OK, I see how this works. Mm. Yeah, I, I, th I think it could be more obvious how you interact with things, because like, even the manual is just like, hey, you know, like, those birds, it doesn't look like you can do anything with them, but you can. And, or, or like, like, for example, I got to, like, that whale in Siege 6, right? Or 5 or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, everything else is launched me, so this will launch me, I just took damage. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, we were looking at the manual, and Neitzel was looking at the French version of the manual, and it actually does say stuff that is more specific. Uh, oh, it's plus. just, yeah, the English version lost a little bit of that and ended up being more confusing. Thank you so much, manual translators, for for that. <laughs> but then again, this wasn't uh, necessarily aimed at uh, us as an audience, you know? It, it was aimed specifically when it was made for uh, people over in Europe, for France, and ended up getting localized in a few different places, but I'm not too surprised that, like, you know, a French developer isn't gonna have the best English instructions. I will say one thing, that swimming level, I saw that there was a swimming level, and it was really like, no, and it turned out to be, like, one of the best levels. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's not that bad. That's mm -hmm. what I was saying, is that, uh, it could have been a lot worse. It's like, at least they didn't have, like, a breathing mechanic or something like that. It's, uh, yeah. it was pretty straightforward. And, and the hitboxes in this game are, like, very understandable. The only thing is that just some enemy movement patterns are butterflies oh my god oh the oh butterfly god. ever yeah i think everybody hates the butterflies i saw somebody found a butterfly image and put it over their stream towards the end there uh yeah that was that was loco or no 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 that was blastness thank you blastness for having the butterfly dance on the screen i appreciate that <laughs> there's uh, something I learned from Metri and Odyssey, it's that butterflies are awful. <laughs> butterflies are butts. Yeah, they're, uh -huh. that's why they have butt in their name. They're butt, butt, mm -hmm. butt. I guess that's not why they have butt in their name, but whatever. Yeah, Netman, uh, seriously, congratulations on taking your victory. And again, all of the players for today, you all did fantastic. In fact, three of you ended up on the same stage. Uh, you know, you there was just a tiny amount of progress difference between you all, and it was really more of a coin toss who was going to come in th second, third, and fourth. But yeah, Netman, you blew everybody else out of the water, and that was fantastic to watch. <laughs> awesome, thank you. <laughs> now, I, I have to ask, are you doing any anything over at your stream? Anything that people should know about? Uh, I really should be starting streaming. I still haven't gotten around to it from the last time I was here, but I can at least plug some personal projects I've been working on. Um, if you like bad Super Robot Wars games, I will be releasing a hack of Super Robot Wars Advanced Portable in, probably in the next week or so. And that game is infamous for being, like, the kusoge of Super Robot Wars games. So I made an attempt to make it, like, playable? More approachable? Ha! So that's going to be coming out in about like a week or so. So keep an eye out maybe on like certain uh, app hosting sites and you might see it around. Well, you should let us know when you do that because I love yeah. to let people know about others in the community uh, finishing and putting together projects. So please do let us know when you do that. Okay. 
Sure thing. Sweet. Well, thank you so much, Netman, and thank you, Neetzel, for giving this game. I had a blast. This was a lot. This was more fun than I expected, let me say. <laughs> I'm glad some players enjoyed it, and I hope uh, the viewers enjoyed it as well. So. <laughs> Well, perfect. See you some other time. <laughs> All right. See you too. Take care. Catch you next Take time. Take care. Thanks for having yeah. me. Uh, well, everybody, uh, although I would like to jump right into the next game right now, I need to stand up for a second. Go get some water. We will be back in about two minutes. Here are some ads. Whatever. Enjoy eating them. Ha! <laughs>